All right, so I apologize to the window here. We have a storm warning in effect here. Uh, I believe it's a hurricane <laughs> warning. I don't know. Pretty shitty out here today. Anyway, it's Saturday. Let's get the bush hog hooked up. I finally got some parts for it. I got my hammers back from the neighbors. He charged me more than he told me to, but still cheaper than buying a hammer. He told me $5 a handle and it turned out to be 12 bucks or something like that. So whatever, can't complain. Anyway, let's get the tractor over here and I bought some new pins and shit. Okay, if you look at that flag over there, if you watch it enough, we got a northern wind here. It's coming from the north, not the west like it's supposed to. I'm blaming that on global warming. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's why we get a shitty weather all the time. It's either extremely hot or extremely cold. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Uh, best way I can. We need to find a washer. Is this one disintegrated? I'm thinking axle nut washer off a car. Now I don't know if I got any here in my supplies. I'm hoping so. First step first. Clean this all up, then we're gonna lubricate it. I should have the ACs on that. Hopefully, never have to change them again. All right, seems like the trail hitch ball has the same lock washer I need. Hopefully, I don't need two because I only have one of those. It's a little bit loose. It'll do. Put that all up. Let's get that back on there. All right, this is gonna be the tricky part. Putting it back up in there, should have gloves on. This thing is pretty sharp. Unbelievably sharp, so. Um, yeah, this will be tricky. Tricky and heavy. In fact, it's going to be a lot faster. Let's find it. All right, let's get her done before that thing falls out of there. Which probably will anyway. still good it's still there well it's not exactly the same as this one so it's gonna affect the balance you can see the new ones a little bit longer it has more steel on the end so it's gonna vibrate uh, not that it doesn't vibrate now but we don't want that so 
Let's get the other one out of there. Should be lots of fun. All right, so that nut came off easier, but a different problem arose with this one is that the pin is stuck in the, in the into the bush hook. So let's get on to it here with the brass punch. One of my uh, newly fixed hammers. Oh, that's really in there. How the hell is that going to come out? Hit another hurdle, guys. Just one thing right after another. Yeah, one side comes right out, this side doesn't. I might have to heat the base of that. That'll burn my fingers off. Hot. Man, that's not good. Really Got it! Oh, that's hot. I saved the washer anyway. Let's go down to me. Okay, so there's the pin and the old blade. That looks a bit bent up. I'm going to have to make sure that these new blades don't hit uh, the inside of this decking. And we should probably patch this up because the blade went through there again. It'll probably go right out. This uh, skirting should be reinforced a bit. Still too hot to grab. Alright, so I don't have any anti seeds. I thought I did. I went to stop at the uh, Napa store and they were closed today before lunch. It must be because of a long weekend. I don't know. Whatever. We use some uh, grease. This is better than nothing. And it probably it will help. Especially down in there. Okay, got it nice and greased up and get her back down in the hole. Alright, she's all back together. Um, these things are supposed to move like that in case they hit something hard. Uh, mine were all seized, they could be half the problem. Um, so I'll make sure it clears. I think I had a clearance issue right there already. We got to bash that out with a hammer. Uh, I have a pipe wrench, I'm going to bend that. Just bend the skirting around a little bit. But we should be good after that. And I got some maintenance to do on the tractor, like pump that tire up. I need two rear David Brown rims. There's supposed to be a place near Napanee somewhere on Highway 2. I need to get another ram and buy some new tires for this thing before I pop these. They're getting really bad. You can tell they're low too. They're low to calcium. Alright, I'm going to go around the skirting with the pipe wrench and uh, bend, the, bend this lip up and out, especially that right there. All right, we're just gonna go through and grease the tractor and I'm gonna change the oil in it before I can bush hog the whole field. But we're gonna go uh, for a test spin and we need to, uh, I put new pins on it. God tell me where all my pins disappear to. I buy these things like crazy and they always seem to disappear. I put them right back in the bush hog or whatever I have. Actually, they're probably on the plow. And I bought myself a new pin for the front. We need to take care of this uh, battery tray array before it wrecks my battery. Maybe I'll patch that up too before we start bush hogging. But we're going to go through, grease everything, check the oil. We're going to change the oil. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll to get some 30 weight oil. It takes 30 weight in the hydraulic system too. But uh, we will have to postpone the oil filter change until I can get to work, get one on Tuesday. But we can change the oil between now and then. It won't hurt. There's the oil filter right there. And I thought I bought two or three, but I must have used them. So we're just going to go through and grease this thing, because it sits outside all the time. And that's not real good for it. We need to take care of some issues on it. If we're going to keep going with it, we have to put a friggin', like some of you said, put a hydraulic on the front. And it wouldn't be that hard. You take this hose right here, run it up to the top over here, and put a, a two-stage handle there, and put a return hose right in there, and just leave that handle up for the hydraulics all the time so the pump's continuously pumping upwards and we won't even use that part. But yeah, it sounds simple. Just a matter of getting to it now. And I'm gonna add, we can add a cylinder to the front right here and get rid of this trip loader stuff. I do have another bucket over there somewhere. So that's another project. Yeah, it's never ending around here. Projects, projects, projects. And I said I was gonna go for test spin on this. We're gonna get the brake booster tomorrow, which will be Sunday. And uh, we still need to fix the barn. So, but. Being I only have 26 bales of hay, 
for this winter in the barn, I need to get uh, either find another place to store some, about six or seven bales, or I should, uh, what makes a problem in the fall and spring because it's too muddy to go in and out with the truck in the barnyard. So I need to really get some more pasture. So that's what this is all about. We need the bush hog over there where the new fence is going to go. Uh, the new neighbor over there, he's got, he's actually got an M38 army truck and he's pretty cool that way. Can't be a bad guy if you have an army truck, there's no way. But he's bought some fencing and he wants to fence it off, so um, he wants to fence his property off from mine. So which will be good because then I only have a few places to patch on the fence and I can get the horses over here and that'll allow me to uh, extend my pasture time from October-ish. I have to start feeding them hay because they start running out of hay. Growing season slows down, right? Anyway guys, let's go test this bush hog. successful test run. I need to go back change oil now and make sure the hydraulic system is full, which I think is low because that's part of the transmission oil. Uh Alright, get you guys in here where it's not windy. Yeah, Tankenstein's become a workbench again. That's just the way it is. Um, yeah, so we're going to get that field uh, bush hog and a fence put up. We still have garage to fix. We still have 
this to do tomorrow may I'll just take it for a test drive I don't know I don't think it's gonna work good I might just get out here after depending on how the wife's feeling gotta spend time with her too cut that off lower the whole thing down about four or five inches so it gives me more pushing power here and then uh, we still got the Terrajet engine to get on there that's got to get out of here this thing's right in the way but he still had the engine that I could keep it outside covered up somewhere anyway guys lots of projects to go we're still trying to do a daily, a daily video but sometimes it doesn't work out uh, either it's too hot out and I just don't feel like it or you know life just happens anyway talk to you guys later please comment rate and subscribe push that button right there